So Google's Nano Banana has been making some headlines for last few weeks, but how it can be possible that there is no Chinese rival for Nano Banana? Well, the good news is there is a mind-blowing Chinese AI model that just performs better than Nano Banana. This AI model is called C Dream version 4, and it was developed by the famous Chinese company ByteDance. This is the same company that owns the infamous TikTok. So C Dream version 4 has similar kind of capabilities in image editing that Nano Banana has. This AI model can perform complex image editing tasks with just simple prompts. It it is far more superior in knowledge based generation, complex reasoning and reference consistency. Another unique thing about this model is this model can generate high definition and high resolution images up to 4K resolution. This was not possible previously in Nano Banana, so I think that's why C Dream is comparatively a better model here. This video is not sponsored by Seedream. I generally found this model really amazing. So that's why I'm just sharing it with you. So let's just dive deep and test this model in real world scenarios and see what this model is actually capable of. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. All right, so to access Seedream, just go to vibes.art, V-I-B-E-Z dot A-R-T. Just go to this website and then just select Seedream version 4 from this dropdown from here. Or you can directly go to vibes.art slash Seedream. I will leave a link in description so you can directly click on that link. So this model basically allows you to use up to 10 images all together. So you can just upload 10 different images and then you can just give it a prompt and then it will generate an image based on your prompt and based on those 10 images. Let's just go through this official blog which was released by byte dance for release of this uh, c dream version 4 so here you can see one of the examples here so this is one single image which was provided with this simple prompt the prompt was referred to this image generate three images from different views 360 degree overhead view and an elevated view and a back view don't change the girl's appearance and outfit so that means by just providing this simple photo now this model can actually generate three different images so one of the images is this so you can see it has the character consistency this is the same girl the same face and everything is same and even the same background i think this is somewhere in wild west then the second image this is an elevated view so you can see there is this image and then the third one is from the back side so basically by simply just providing one simple image now you can generate an image from any angle there is another use case let's suppose if you have this kind of logo and now based on this logo you can generate your whole branding you can create packaging you can create this kind of like apps and hats so basically you can create anything related to branding that you previously needed to like hire an expensive designer for so now you can simply just create like this kind of images for your business with simple prompt there is another example this is called refer to style of the image generate a set of images showing different sports they will be used to create a series of advertisements so now you can see this is the guy and he is in a certain like kind of a pose and this image overall has a style so now based on this image it is going to create this particular image and this image and this image all of these images are basically you can say the same guy in the same setting in the same scene the same kind of image style but in completely three different sports the first one is in boxing then cycling and then the bus basketball and and in all of these three images you can see guys silhote is on background anyway so it just like did amazing job with the character consistency with the scenes consistency and with the same image style the next image is mind blowing and this image has all of these different images and it just like combined all of these different images and then created one image which is this so basically it has the desert it has this particular object and then all of these different variables so you can see this is the image that it has created it created this bike but in a completely different angle and now she's standing in front of the bike and even you can find the reflection on the bike as well so yeah that's just mind blowing. so now we have seen what this model is actually capable of so now let's just go ahead and then try this model and then see how this model actually performs so i am back to vibes.art so you can just like open this page vibes.art slash cdream i just click on the link in description and now from here i'm going to provide it some of the images so i have got these different images so I'm going to provide all of these different six different images and then I'm going to provide it a prompt. So this is the prompt. So prompt basically says dress the model in clothes and hat, add a cat to the scene and change the background to the Victorian era building. So you can see I have provided the Victorian era building in here. And then I'm going to mention with the car in the background with a car. So you can see I have provided a red car as well. So now this is my prompt and now I'm going to just click on this button which is transform with C Dream version 4. 
I'm just going to click on this button and now it is going to generate a new image based on these six different images and you can see the size of these different images is like one image is 2.1 MBs, 1.1 MBs. So just make sure that these images are not very large. So based on this prompt and these images, it is going to create an image in here. Wow, this is amazing. You can see she has the same pose and there is a car in background. I think the scaling of this car needs to be different. But anyways, you can see this cat is sitting in here on the chair and then she's wearing this hat and then she's wearing this particular dress, the dress as we provided it and then the same hat and the same house that we provided. So this is just mind blowing. Okay, so now let's just provide it my image. So I just took a screenshot of myself and now let me just give it here. I'm going to test this particular prompt. So there is this particular prompt where it created three different images with three different angles. So let's just see how it actually works so let me just take a screenshot so i've just copied the exact same prompt refer to the image generate three different images from different views 360 degree overhead view an elevated view and a back view don't change the guy's appearance and outfit so yeah that's my prompt i'm going to click on this transform with now let's just see what it will create i really think it don't show my background <laughs> like the other stuff that i have in here but Let's just see what it creates. <laughs> this, is a, this is what it has created. Okay, cool. So yeah, it, first it has just created this uh, nice. It, ha it has actually done a good job here. You can see this is that 360 degree view that it has created. And then it has imagined this particular side. And it has like, uh, I don't know why it has created another me, but it has created myself in here. So because I, do while i was giving that prompt i mentioned uh, i just allowed it to create one image so now let's just see what it can actually create so let me just go back let me just allow it to create three different images so i'm going to provide this image again and this time i'm going to provide a different sort of prompt create an image so my prompt is refer to this image and then generate an image and elevated view don't change the guy's appearance and outfit Perfect. Let me just click on C dream. Uh, cool. Let's just wait for it to create. Okay. Nice. That's nice. This is more like a webcam view. This is amazing. I mean, it has created an elevated view. Uh, still, uh, it is showing my <laughs> similar kind of belly and my clothing is same. And the camera angle is a bit high. It is showing the same kind of baldness on my hairs. And yeah, I mean, we'll have to we have to agree that this, this is probably one of the best results that we have got so far uh, from this kind of like image generation models. I tried this with Nano Banana as well, but that was not, not as accurate as this one is. So yeah, this is amazing. Okay, let me just try something else because previously I just created this. I had a separate image of wipe coding and then I had another image and then I just like provided both of the images and then it just like added that wipe coding thing on the background. So let's just try with this image with something else. So now I've got these two images. One is me and one is this image with wipe coding. Let me just show you this image. So this is the image. It has this just wipe coding in it. And now let me just give it a prompt. Uh, generate a new image Add the wipe coding image on background. So this is my simple prompt and let me just see if it can create something sensible this time. Okay, so what it has done, it has added that image on the background, fine. So it basically removed my existing background and then added this image on the background, fine. I mean, based on my prompt that I gave it, uh, it has like created this, but I think I gave it a different prompt last time when I created this. So it basically uh, added that vibe coding image on the background and this is me in that terrible face okay anyways yeah it has done so far like really really good job so yeah, this ai model is surprisingly good and it is comparatively cheaper as well this model cost 0.03 dollars for per image generation which is kind of really cheap so i think just go ahead and give it a try and let me know in the comment section what you think about this new model i see you next video bye bye